So you just installed Skater XL or the Skater XL beta and your mods are not working. This video is for you. So if you're having a problem where you cannot flip your board, if your legs are stuck in the air, can't see maps, you can't see your clothing, you can't save your clothing, if you're having problems with the game at all, you probably either have the wrong version of the game or you have the wrong version of your mods. Please, for the love of God, when you're downloading mods now, make sure that the number in the version of the mod that you're downloading is made for the version of the game that you're installing it onto. So here's the big problem that people are going to run into. What version of the game are you on? So currently I'm on the Skater XL beta. And if you want to take part of the beta, you have to right click Skater XL on Steam, go to properties, betas, then opt into the public beta. So there's two versions of Skater XL right here. So if I do this, go to none. So I click none. And now what's happening is my game is updating to version 1.1. It's going to the regular version of Skater XL. So I open up Unity Mod Manager again. And if you look over here now, it says install. So when I changed versions of the game just now to 1.1, all of my mods uninstall themselves. And watch what happens when I click install. All of my mods are installed into the game. I'll go to Skater XL and open it up. But take a look at the Mod Manager. There's a bunch of red buttons here. This means that those mods are actually broken and they're not working. Even though that they're turned on, those are definitely broken and will, will not work. So you have to turn those off or update them and, and delete them. So look at my game here. So I'm going to press save. I'm going to exit this and look at what's happening. My legs are in the air. I can't flip my board. My Excel graphics mod is stuck open and it has nothing. It shows nothing at all. So this is the most broken my game could be right now. And this is how you can troubleshoot your game to make sure that it's going to work. So if I press control F10 here and go to the XXL mod, turn it off, press save. So the XXL mod needs to be updated for it to work, apparently, because now I have nothing installed at all. So my legs are in the air. I press Control F10. The only other mod that affects your legs is actually the stance and legs mod here. So I'm going to press that. My legs are on the board again. So essentially, if you toggle all of your mods off like that, you'll pinpoint what mods are breaking your game and you'll know what mods to update. So all of the mods I have installed are made for the beta, and I currently installed them onto the public branch. That's why they're all broken. All right, so what we're gonna do is actually get out of here, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna right-click Skater XL, go to Properties, Betas, Beta, Open Beta. This is where the multiplayer update is. So when I do this update, all of my mods will uninstall again, and I'll have to make sure that the mods I install into the game are made for this version of the game. For the most part, you can find most of your mods here, but you'll also have to go to Discord too. A lot of the mods that are made for the beta branch are only available on Discord, especially Dog Vinci's mods currently. So you'll see this. If I type in XXL mod, this is the most used mod in the game. If you go down here and look at this on the mod browser, the latest version was version 2.05, it was added 106 days ago. Well, the beta branch came out two weeks ago. So this version right here is not made for the beta branch. So here's the sound mod by J Boogie. So if you read all this stuff, it shows you updates about what happens. So definitely read all the bug fixes and stuff. So April 16th, 2021. So this is the update right here for the beta branch. So what you have to do is look down here and there's version 0.07. This is the most recent version for the version 1.1. So if you're on the public branch of the game, this is the sound mod that you want. If you're on the beta branch of the game, this is the one you want right here. So the first thing you need to do here is download Unity Mod Manager. So go down here to Files, Unity Mod Manager, the manual download. You click that. Um, you'll have to log in. So I think you have to make an account. So you have to log in in order to download it. And then you can store this to wherever you want. Personally, I put this in my documents to keep it nice and simple. So after you have UD Bob Badger installed, you have to go to the folder wherever you downloaded it to. So mine's in my documents here. You'll see Unity Mod Manager right here. You have to open it up, go inside of it. You should be able to see this Unity Mod Manager application.exe. And this little application will open up like this. So you have Unity Mod Manager, and this is all you need. So you can close this, select Skater XL as your game, and then you have to select the Skater XL folder. So the folder for this is wherever your game is located. So keep in mind that this is not your Skater XL folder that's in your documents. That is for your maps and your gear. And we'll go over that in a second. So you're basically all set up and you can install your mods now. So what you have to do is go to the mod section right here and basically just drag and drop your mods and press the install button. The most important thing people always miss is you have to click this button right here 
which mine is already clicked, but you have to click this after you install your first mod for the first time. So if you want to install maps and gear in Skater Excel, those do not go into this. Those are not script mods. Only script mods go into Unity Mod Manager, it's like your sound mod, your XL graphics mod, XXL mod, all of the, the mods that affect your gameplay and stuff. If you go back to the Skater Excel modding website and you go by map like this, for example, or you sort by gear even, so you can find map, you can find gear, those go into your documents. So as simple as this, you open up your file explorer, go to your documents tab. If you have Skater Excel installed onto your computer, you should have this folder automatically created for you. And there should be a maps and a gear folder. And all you have to do is put your gear into here. So I'll take this, uh, this skateboard that I just downloaded here, these boards, I'll put them into my gear folder. So I take the mini logo stuff, I place it in here, I right click it and extract. And same thing goes for maps. You just go to the maps tab, you download that, and then you have to extract it into the maps folder. All right, guys. Well, that's basically all I want to go over today with you guys to kind of break down what the issue is right now, why it's so complicated to get your mods working. Essentially, there's two versions of Skater Excel floating around out there. You'll have to make sure that your mods are made for the proper version of the game you have installed, which is pretty hard to find. So make sure that you're reading the descriptions of each mod because they have to be the proper versions to work. Not only that, but be prepared in the coming days, weeks, or months, whenever the, the official update comes, that your mods on the public branch will probably break and you'll have to make sure to download the ones that work. Other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it helped you out. Make sure to like subscribe for more stuff like this because in the coming weeks or whatever that the official update drops, I'll be doing more videos like this to help you guys get on the right track. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for more updates to Skater XL because stuff is always evolving. This is actually a good thing. So the fact that we have to do this all the time is a good thing. This means that the game is being actively developed upon. It's constantly evolving and changing and stuff is not stagnant. But other than that, guys, hopefully this helped you out and I hope to see you all in the next video. Later.